Welcome, dear viewers, to Couch Warrior TV on YouTube. I'm the Couch Warrior, and you are watching The Passage, the Skyrim SE Let's Play featuring Etienne Jarrell, the Altmer Ranger. We are currently on the warpath to Crags Lane Cavern. Where we expect to at least find some skooma dealers. Possibly a full-fledged skooma manufacturing operation. We're not entirely sure yet. So we are on our way there now. And the goal here was to kind of leave early and put some distance between us and Riften to get out onto the trail. But we have kind of a long way to go, so there's a good chance that we're going to have to stop off and make camp sometime before we get there just because it's, I think, a little bit much. to make the entire trip, uh, given everything that he's been doing over the last two nights. He's really been kind of pushing himself, running on very little sleep, so... All right, we need to avoid that fort. more canis root. Stuff's pretty abundant around here. Key ingredient in our paralyzation poisons. raise the ire of the bear, especially within view of the walls of this fort. Etienne has resolved to travel openly through this small town here. Oh, he's got a kill. We don't want to mess with him. Mainly because it's... It's a potential resource. We kind of need to figure out what's here. So we're just going to walk on through as any normal traveler would and just have a... Have a look at what's available here. Holy crap, that's Grelka. Grelka lives here. Well, she's seen us in the marketplace. In fact, she's even trained us a little bit. Hey. Can't you bother me at my armor stand in the market? Or are you that desperate for training? Speak. <laughs> Come back when you're ready to spend more gold. I was curious to see if we could buy from her here. I like that she lives here. Well, if there are thieves in that fort, or bandits, or whomever, she must have a special relationship with them if she's traveling through there every day. She might be a good person to question at some point, if she'll talk to us. Hey there. I hope you haven't arrived here looking for work in the mine. Uh, no, actually. What's wrong with the mine? <laughs> it's full of spiders. What? That's what's wrong with it. 
Almost killed Grogmar and me when they showed up. I'm worried that they'll come out of the mine looking for food soon. Then we're in even bigger trouble. What about the guards? They should be able to help you. Yeah, they're as useless as a fifth wheel on a wagon. Gave me some sort of line about keeping an eye out for enemy soldiers. Hmm. What's the point in protecting this place if the mine's completely useless? Idiots. Well, we do know from experience that the idea of enemy soldiers being around is not, certainly not an idle threat. We found, you know, guards at that watchtower, supposedly anyway, killed by Legion soldiers. Tell you what, how about I clear them out for you? If I do that, could you help me out? Tell you what, keep to your word, and I'll line your pockets with as much as I can scrape out. All right. I don't want to be responsible for sending you to your death. Be careful in the mind. We've dealt with spiders before. This shouldn't be too hard. And Etienne knows that with this fairly straightforward diversion, he might be able to build some goodwill here. These vampires are becoming a real menace. True. Okay, ebony arrows are not for killing spiders, that is for sure. We've got our mask on. We've got Croesus going. Got our hood, which is giving us some bonus on archery as well as our gauntlets, so we got a full complement of decent gear here, so we're switching to elven arrows. Now look at the haze in here. There's one right there. Yeah, look how still they are. And another one there. See that? Peripheral vision. One to our left as well. They are everywhere. Okay. The correct strategy, I think, is to... Kill the one in the center, hopefully drawing the others to that location. Oh, we stopped. Infestation. Well, might as well take the venom as well. Something we've noticed about the wildlife in the area. The spiders always seem to be aggressive no matter what. Which makes them particularly dangerous to villagers and so forth.
Well, they should be able to get back to their mining now, but we're going to let them deal with the carcasses. That's up to them. They're going to have to cut them up and haul them out of here or whatever. Fairly uh, simple... 10 minute diversion that could build a lot of goodwill with these people, hopefully. Especially the smith. What is it? Nasty little puppies, Yeah, they huh? are. The spiders put you through the ringer. It's cleared. Gone? Every one of them? Why, that's incredible. Finally, we can reopen the mine and put Shore's stone back on the map. Here, please accept this gift as a token of our gratitude. Wow. That is a nice gift. That's way more than I got paid for traveling all the way across Skyrim to deliver a business document. Hey, uh, what do you have for sale? Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Well, yeah. you know what I'm looking for. Well, he doesn't, but you all, the listeners, viewers, do. Nothing there. Nothing there. All right, thanks for your time. Don't kid yourself. Stone runs in our blood. Okay. Terrific. All right, well. We continue. Seems like a thriving place. Don't think you can bother with me like one of those damn shopkeepers. All right, let's head out. So what we know is that in order to get to Crags Lane, we're going to have to travel the mountain trail. The road's not going to get us there, so... We've pretty much followed the road for as far as it could possibly take us at this point. We've got to go overland. Get to the trail. And then we'll head down the mountainside that way. Yay, the rain subsided. That's good. Wow, that was kind of a quick downpour, wasn't it? Beautiful. Look at that. That's beautiful. Right there, episode thumbnail, right there. More spiders. It is right there. Oh, man, come on. I had it dead to rights that time, I think. I think. Oh, man, it's in the trees. I can't. Damn. Tell you what, man. That makes me so... Frustrated. God, 
Gotcha. How many arrows did that take? Interesting that the spider decided at first it looked like he was going to try and compete with that bear for a dead goat, but he decided not to, which was probably a good move. Yeah, there's a bear behind us there. Wolves. We'll give them their space. We'll get up through here quick. Back into some cover. Now, I predict that we're going to go into Crag's Lane. We're going to have a decent fight on our hands, but when all is said and done, there's just going to be a huge barrel that's filled with nothing but ebony ingots and smithing gear. That's what's going to happen, without a doubt. Ah, we are close now. Signs of a campfire and the howl of the beasts. This is definitely the place. All right, now we proceed with caution. Ah, they have a sentry posted. Let's get into the trees here. He's unsure, he's suspicious. I suspect if this man has spent a significant number of years brutalizing animals, he probably knew how to read them, and that's how he knew where we were, because there was some good cover in that spot. Is this bird dead? Oh, yeah. These are wild animals. These aren't trained animal animals. As we've mentioned before, when we were at uh, Falder's Tooth, I believe it was, it seemed as though they were, they were pitting trained animals against wild ones for sport. So it's very likely that these... Wolves here are either candidates for combat and, and betting, 
or they're hoping to somehow break them and train them or maybe even use them for breeding. Who knows? All right. It's time. Let's see what we can do here. Weapon switch. Must be my imagination. Better go to instincts quick. Right there. There's another one. If that is a trained pit wolf, it is a lot bigger. It's that's a nice wolf, right? There's two more. There's an entrance here. Okay, we don't know what the situation is with the dog, so we're definitely not going to get in the pen. But there's this entrance here. We might be able to get in there. So I think... Let's have a quick look. Yeah, we got... Just one, right? Yeah. One invisibility potion. So... We're going to take out the two guys across the room. Then the goal is to take the invisibility potion, get over the edge, and reposition. That is the goal. But to take these two guys out, we got to be, like, I think pretty quick about it. Because once we fire, it's all going to go sideways pretty quick. Ocean. Visibility. Let's get in here. Hey, there's a guy right there. No time like the present, right? Gotcha. All right. Back to the bow. We gotta end this quickly, including that giant dog. Dog is down. See if this goon actually has a key. And he does. And he's got 250 gold pieces, which I like. And some more. Uh huh. Here's the skooma. Moon sugar. We're gonna confiscate all of that crap. Okay, I don't know what dogs are going to be hostile or not. Oh, man. Looks like it's the 
the wild dog versus the pit wolf. Both sad stories. Hate to do it, but the pit wolves are just their creatures that have been trained to kill. So Etienne feels compelled to destroy the poor things before they kill anyone else be a nightmare if they got loose into civilized areas this whole thing is a nightmare This definitely doesn't look like any manufacturing is going on here at all. Which means the manufacturing has to be happening somewhere else. This looks like it's just kind of a distribution point. Which makes sense when you think about it. If we look at this note, shipments ready. Just got in a shipment of moon sugar from Morrowind. We're refining it now, and the skooma should be ready by the time you get to Crags Lane Cavern. It doesn't say the manufacturing is going on here. It could be just a distribution point, which makes sense because it just doesn't look like the sort of operation that's set up for actually making this stuff. Work a shield. Common Soul Gem, Gold, Scroll of Conjure, Battle, was it Battle Mage or Battle Image? I don't know what that was. Yeah, Battle Mage. Shield, it's too heavy, I'm not taking that. But that leaves us with its gold and ruby necklace. And lying next to the necklace, Etienne finds a letter, and the letter reads, Butcher, the dog you sold us has failed utterly. Your tales of tracking charms functioned as advertised, however your training leaves much to be desired. What good is tracking the beast if it's too stupid to remain with the individual to be followed? The creature failed to move for two days and when we finally found it, our quarry was nowhere to be found. To make matters worse, the beast tore out the throat of one of my men before bolting into the hills. 
you will find enclosed your useless tracking pendant in all its worthless glory. Perhaps you can locate your creature, and if we're lucky, it will dispatch you as it did my justicier, thus ridding the world of yet another miscreant. I have instructed the clerks that you are not to be paid, and my agents in the field to kill you on sight. Consider yourself fortunate that I am such a busy man, as, given the time, I would have relished dissecting you alive. I suggest you find a very deep hole and hide in it, Mr. Butcher. Rulandil, Arch Inquisitor. A tracking pendant. Well, that tells an interesting story. It sounds as if this man who called himself the Butcher, was responsible for not only training pit wolves, but something they referred to as tracking dogs with tracking charms. Interesting. So the revelation here, of course, is that we've learned a little bit more about how Garm was used to track us. Apparently Garm is invested with some kind of charm that can be located using the pendant that we've now acquired. We're not exactly sure how to use it, but if we could, if Etienne could figure out how to use it, it's possible that he could track down Garm. That would be an interesting proposition. Well, the job here is complete. In a way, it's a bit of an unfortunate dead end in that we still don't know where the stuff is being manufactured. This just happens to be a stopping point. Okay, we need to inspect these creatures. Again, these seem like wild creatures. So we are going to leave them be. We are, however, going to take a bit of time here to prepare these hides we have for travel. I think uh, processing them would just make them easier to roll up and travel with, cut away the pieces you don't need and so forth. All right. We've got a pendant. If we can figure out how it works, we can find Garm ourselves. Perhaps bring another ally into the fight. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you for joining me on yet another journey through the passage. I thank you so much for your support of this Let's Play and my efforts on the channel and all of your encouraging words and participation. Um, it has been a lot of fun and the story continues to be a lot of fun. So I look forward to seeing you all for the next episode. And I will see you next time.